Well, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to go do an overview of the canoe that I built. Uh, it's a wood strip canoe, and I did it out of uh, basswood and cherry. Um, the uh, side I did kind of a nice Indian motif, and uh, I got that from another YouTuber, and I'll put a link to his site down below. But uh, I used all stainless steel hardware, and uh, I caned the seats with a uh, plastic cane, uh, so that took a little bit of time. But uh, uh, I'll go through the steps uh, and do a voiceover to show each of the steps, and then I'll do a pan around to show uh, the details of the uh, canoe as well. First step we did was we uh, took some two by sixes and we uh, uh, kind of planed them down and straightened them out. And then we made a box uh, and squared it up. And then uh, we added some uh, cross pieces to kind of give it stiff in the box up and attach some two by fours, which will be the area that the uh, forms attach to. And then start working on the forms, uh, just plywood and uh, took some uh, poster board and then cut those uh, to shape um, and then took those to the bandsaw and jigsaw and uh, cut those up and then sanded the edges smooth because that's what you're going to build off of. Um, the forms then got attached to the, uh, the uh, backboard piece there and then took some rough lumber. This is the basswood uh, and then planed it up and uh, cut it into thin strips. Uh, and there are plenty of thin strips to use for this. Um, it, for the decorative area, I took some varying widths of uh, uh, boards and uh, took cherry and uh, just made a design and gluing out that up. This took the, uh, quite a bit of time, but uh, uh, then I cut a uh, 45 degree angle uh, on the uh, boards and then cut those into strips and glued the uh, separate strips together with a central uh, little square piece of cherry. And after I was done with the uh, that, we had to cut off the center piece of cherries to square that up. And I was ended up with a bunch of strips and a bunch of uh, backer boards. And I resawed the uh, uh, piece of uh, decorative area and put some tape on there to provide some support. And I varied the uh, pattern that was on the thing so that that way I could uh, give it a little bit of support while I was milling it up and running it through the, uh, the router. I routed all the edges. Uh, here you can see taking uh, the first couple strips on the canoe uh, and uh, then just slowly put uh, bead to cove, bead to cove, bead to cove and eventually uh, building up each side. Uh, I did put tape along the forms so that that way the uh, strips didn't adhere to the uh, the forms which will have to be removed after we get the uh, hull made uh, and just kept going I used uh, bungees I used uh, uh, some clamps um, to kind of hold those in place while each strip dried uh, and worked my way through until the uh, uh, hull started looking like a canoe uh, which was rather satisfying. After that, uh, I trimmed off the ends uh, and then sanded those. And then it was sanding, sanding, sanding. Uh, I sanded uh, quite a bit. In fact, I burnt up one of my random orbital sanders um, and got it to a point <clears throat> where I thought, excuse me, where I thought it was uh, pretty good. Um, and um, uh, then uh, took the area and we covered it with the first coat of epoxy because uh, it will uh, would needed to be able to um, so soak into the wood. And I coated it with uh, fiberglass and uh, more coats of epoxy. Then came the inside which is basically a repetition of the outside where there's a lot of sanding, uh, removing all the tape. Um, at that point I started working on the seats. Um, made these out of cherry and I even made uh, cup holders for the uh, uh, for there as well. I used plastic cane to cane those and uh, then I set them to try and figure out what would work and when I was then with the inside put uh, fiberglass in there, a coat of epoxy and then uh, after that I started working on the gunnels which are the side pieces 
and milled those up and drilled them and uh, uh, attached those. I did crack one of these in the process, so I uh, uh, ended up doing the half lap joint to fix it, uh, which uh, nobody will ever see or know about. But uh, um, then after you have a full canoe, what do you do? You drill a hole in it. And this was for a, uh, a low line pool, uh, so the rope can go through there and <clears throat> it attaches to the top there. After everything was uh, done, I took it outside, sprayed it with a marine varnish, um, and then I had a canoe. Um, taking it out, it floats very nicely, um, and uh, uh, I do a little pan around here so that that way you can see uh, what it looks like. And that's about it. Uh, if you like what you see, just click subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching.